We in Yara, we want to responsibly feed the world. So looking at the growing population, where we will bust 9, million, 9 billion uh, population in the world. We've calibrated the soils. We've come up with tailor-made fertilizer solutions that enable the growers to build in, in their crop production systems, affordable fertilizer regimes that ensures that it's not acidifying to the soils, but optimizes the production. So the key word that we need to work around in the country is efficiency. We need to look at the return on investment by the smallholder farmer so that we can fast track, increase our productivity. I'll give you an example. In an acre, average production is about, in maize, which is a key crop. Of course, it's all over 90% of the food in the table every day in Kenya. So average farmer produces 15 bucks of maize per acre. With calibrated good fertilizer regimes, you can take that to 25 bucks per acre at the same cost of production. So this is the kind of approach in technology through good technology in seed, fertilizer, machinery definitely, and all the good agricultural practices mm -hmm. so that we can be able to drive this productivity. And this is our mission in Yara. If you look around the background of uh, the, 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 the land productivity, I want to highlight one thing about the land, because it's not only a question about the available land. If we look deeply in the quality of the land, more than 40% of our soils is acidic. More than 80% of our soils is deficient in sulfur. Now, the law of minimum tells us you can never achieve the yield potential. If we get a seed variety that put, has a potential of about 14 tons per hectare of maize, for example, without meeting this law of minimum, eliminating and providing the correct balanced nutrition, the farmer cannot achieve any potential from that seed variety. 